Hello. Today we are checking how we can create an Odoo instance in AWS without any cost. So everyone can see this is my AWS dashboard. So first what we need to do, uh, we need an instance, a service to create the Odoo instance. So I am using the EC2. So here also you can see launch a virtual machine. I am clicking this and here I am just searching there is any Udo package available in the system AWS system so you can see there are 481 plus result in community MIs I am clicking this and here you can see there are many Udo packages by Bitnami so Today I am going to build Udo 15. Here you can see there are one instance available for Udo 15. That is 2022. We can check there is any later version available. This is 2023. Yes, this is the latest Udo 15. So I am selecting this. Here you can see the instance type. This is T3 micro and here you can see free tier eligible. So I am going forward with this instance type. And uh, this is the key pair. Like it's asking to create a key pair for accessing the server. I am clicking the create new key pair. And it will ask what type of encryption we need. Uh, it's default by default it's rsa and that's okay i'm typing the name and here i'm creating key pair so it will ask you to save the key pair i'm saving in the desktop okay next is network settings here we can see create security groups select existing security group etc so we can edit this and uh, now there is only one SS access we can type another one by add security group rule here we can select uh, HTTP I'm selecting HTTP and I'm giving the source type anywhere. In the same way, I'm adding one HTTPS also. HTTP, yes. That's also I'm selecting anywhere. And next is I'm selecting ICMP all ICMP so this is internet control message protocol and this I am this is also I am putting anywhere then we can configure the storage by default it's 1 into 10 GB and uh, GP2 so if you want you can add a new volume so currently I am going with this only and in the advanced settings you can see the domain IAM etc so I think this is enough so I am launching the instance so it will take some time to launch and activate the instance you can see a message successfully initiated launch of instance and if you go back to the instance we can see one instance is running and uh, we can edit the name okay if i click this it will give you more information about the instance so if i open the ipv4 address then we can check what it will give okay now it's not be reached it will take some time to activate that instance so we can just wait for uh, or we can check after some time.
okay now here you can see status check is passed so we can check we can click this open address okay here we can see our odo login page so but we don't know the password and the username right so what we will do we will connect the server using the ssh so how we can connect we can go to here if i click connect here then here you can see ssh client so here this is the command and uh, we need to go to the downloads or the desktop here we can open the terminal and uh, here we need to paste this command because the pm file we have saved in our desktop location so that's why we have here this is the command ssh hyphen i our permission file then this is the url of that but we have to change one thing instead of admin we have to use bitnami and i am entering okay now it's come in uh, connected let's see what is inside this so you can see there are three things bitnami credential hd docs and stack so we have to check the bitnami credentials nano bitnami credential okay it will give you the username and password so username is user at example.com and i am copying that i am pasting here and password is this i am copying this and i am pasting here i am trying to log in let's see what happens it will log in or not yes it's login and if i go to the settings you can see there is no apps that's why it's not showing so i'm just installing the sales okay the sales is installed and it's reloading and if i go to settings then we can check the version here you can see this is odoo 15 okay so this is how we can install odoo so this will take only less than 5 minutes to install the odoo in aws free instance using the bitnami package